Okay, guys, we're back. Thank to ha I'm glad to have you back. So today, we're going to be working on a Grizzly 660 02. We got plenty of stuff to work on out here. <laughs> but we parked it out here somewhere. I don't remember where we put it. But it's a Grizzly 660. It feels good. We pulled the motor. So the motor's out. And we're going to uh, tear the motor down because, and I'll show you what they did to it. So what happened with this one is they threw a rod and threw it right through the case. Here's the head and the jug and all. And there's the rod that broke. Snapped it right in half. So what we're doing today is we're going to pull it down, pull it in half. And we're going to see if we can't split this case so we can find out what's going on. Why it's slung a rod and if the oil pump quit working or what. And I'll get back with y'all once I got it split and separated. Thank you and be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Show y'all something. Uh, after you pull all the bolts out of the case on the other side and everything over here where all the gears and all that is a lot of people think it's going to come apart but the problem you have is i don't know if y'all can see that see that little bolt back in there if you don't take that one loose the case won't split and we can't get into it so that was just a heads up i'll get back at it thank you hey guys we're back so here's our gump in the bottom catastrophic failure that happened is most likely a result of this bearing not getting enough oil and coming apart on us and tearing up the rod and it just slung it right out of the case busted it right clean through so we're going to get into the oil pump and see if the oil pump's bad or what, what's going on with it and try to figure out what, what we got to do thank you back all right guys this is what we have i don't know if y'all can see that it's the oil pump and it looks like it's fine and how it works is it rocks around this cog and pumps the oil that way looks like the oil pump's fine we just uh i'm thinking they ran it low of oil and it just spun the bearing and broke the bearing so, glad to have you. We're probably going to have to order a new case and rebuild kit and all that. So, when it comes back and we're finished, we're getting ready to put it back together, I'll be back with you. On a side note, I would like to have, I would like to find out which one would y'all like me to work, uh, do a full restoration on. This one, the Sun L. Or I have another one out here. I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking about doing a couple part series. So good. Or we can do this one right here. It's a tau tau or something like that. We might do this one. Leave comments below. Let me know which y'all would like for me to do. Which one y'all think I should do. Thank you. Alright guys. If y'all like our uh, content. And would like to see more. If you would like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And comment when you can. Thank you.
All right, guys, here's a little update on the Heisen. We got the motor back in it, and it cranks up and runs fine. The problem we have is, uh, I guess, the guy before ran it low oil, and now it uh, it knocks a little bit in the bottom end. We didn't know that because we finally got it to run and found that out. So this looks like this will be a full rebuild that y'all can come along and watch me take apart and rebuild it and get it back going. Thank you and come again.